At one time or another, you have probably experienced the frustration that a Rubik's Cube can cause. Take heart. This clip will give you the tools you need to solve a cube in five easy steps. The Rubik's Cube is composed of a three-axis rotating matrix, eight three-color corner pieces, and twelve two-color edge pieces, and has 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 274 billion, 489 million, 856,000 possible configurations. One of the most common mistakes is to try to solve one face or color at a time. In this case, trying to solve the second face ends up undoing the first. It is better to solve the cube in three layers working from top to bottom. For step one, match the colors of an edge piece to both the top color and a side color. Note that the color of each face is determined by its center, which does not change. Match the edge color first, and then rotate it to match the top color. You can use the bottom layer to transport pieces to where you need them. If you end up rotating a piece you have already solved out of position, make sure to put it back before completing the sequence. Step 2 completes the first layer and is very similar to Step 1. The main difference is that you are matching three colors instead of two. Position a corner piece so that the top color is facing away from the destination. Rotate the destination corner down, replace the existing piece, and rotate it back into position. The third step solves layer 2. Turn the cube upside down facing a destination edge and position the solution piece so that the color on the bottom of the cube is opposite its corresponding side. Rotate that side away from you. Rotate the bottom layer towards the solution piece and return the side then bottom to their original positions. Now rotate the front face toward the solution piece and solve the corner piece that was displaced from the top layer. Step 4 has two parts. The first is to correctly position each corner piece. To perform a corner swap, turn the cube right side up facing the two corners. Rotate the right side, then the bottom counterclockwise, and return the side to its original position. Rotate the front, then the bottom clockwise, and return the front to its original position. Rotate the right side counterclockwise, Solve the displaced corner and rotate the bottom twice. The second part uses a three corner rotation sequence to correctly orient the corners. One corner will remain unchanged while the other three rotate in the same direction as the bottom layer in the sequence. For a counterclockwise rotation, position the cube right side up with the corner to remain unchanged on the left. Rotate the opposite side towards you. Rotate the bottom one turn counterclockwise. Return the side to its original position and rotate the bottom another turn in the same direction. Rotate the side towards you again, rotate the bottom twice, return the side to its original position, and rotate the bottom twice. Simply mirror the sequence for a clockwise rotation. The final step can be easily completed using combinations of three different sequences, each of which move and or flip three edge pieces and can be performed clockwise or counterclockwise. The first sequence moves one edge piece directly across while the two remaining pieces move and flip. Hold the cube right side up facing the edge that will remain unchanged. Rotate the center down towards you. Rotate the bottom in the direction you want the pieces to move. Return the center to its original position. Rotate the bottom twice in the same direction. Rotate the center down again. Rotate the bottom once more in the same direction and return the center to its original position. The second sequence moves and flips one edge piece across, moves another, and moves and flips the third. Hold the cube right side up facing the piece you want to move across. Rotate the side with the piece that will remain the same away from you. Rotate the front towards that face. 
rotate the opposite side away from you, return the front face, then both sides to their original positions, and finally solve the displaced corner. Keep in mind that this sequence can also be used in reverse. The third sequence simply moves three edges clockwise or counterclockwise. Hold the cube right side up facing the side opposite the piece you want to move across. Rotate the center down towards you. Rotate the bottom towards the edge that will remain unchanged. Return the center to its original position. Rotate the bottom once in the same direction. Rotate the center down again. Rotate the bottom twice in the same direction. Return the center to its original position. Rotate the bottom once in the same direction. Rotate the center down a final time. Rotate the bottom once in the same direction. Return the center to its original position and rotate the bottom twice.